so there's a problem where I just re remember things and don't, re I mean, I tend to, when some, like, especially when I take a test, I don't remember what I, remember what I read. So that's the problem that's holding me back. So um, I hope that this group that I will be in will help me, you know, challenge that and help me discover what I need to know. Let me uh, thank you. First of all, if, let's, uh, your honesty is so welcome and is great. That's another thing that I do in every co-coaching. The more we, we welcome and honor, the more revealing somebody is, the better, because you can't help somebody who's pulling their punches and not saying their truth. So her saying that she's developmentally disabled, create, we now can, we can address that because we know it's on the table. There are different jobs that make different demands, for example, on memory. I like to focus on abilities, not disabilities. So tell me what you do if there was a god or a goddess, and the goddess were looking down on you. What would the god or goddess say you do well? Well, what I do well is in clerical, but right now what I'm doing is part-time caregiving. So um, I just do household work, and then also I talk to the person who is disabled. And so we have a good relationship. So most of the times I do have people skills, but um, at the same time, I also do, you know, do stuff with my hands. So well. would the goddess say that you'd be wiser in your next job to be working with people with disabilities, to be doing clerical in a government office? What would the wise woman within you, the goddess, say you should be focusing on as a job target? Um, working with people with disability, just okay. like myself, but mine's is with memory, not with, right. with physical. Great. And so because the, our government has huge numbers of programs for people who are homebound, who are developmentally disabled, who live, who are, you know, developmentally disabled, who are uh, recovering addicts, all kinds of things, should your effort to get a government job where you can get because government job gives you benefits and vacation and holidays instead of, you know, low-level $15 an hour work, should you be focusing your effort on finding the government agencies that have those, provide those kind of services and get a job for them? It, it would be very difficult to do that, but nonprofit agencies have that too Great. as well. So should that... Should that be your goal when you come out of here today to ask a librarian or come up with, you know, so the, a, the local agencies near, relatively near where you live who hire such people who work as companions uh, in the kind of work you do well rather than one that takes a toll on your reading or your memory and see if you can get a good job that way? Yes. Okay. Yes. So thank you very much. Thank so you. what I did nothing more elaborate than what I'm asking you to do in co-coaching. Is that right? So we just did a demo. I asked her questions. I didn't care if she's got any kind of a developmental delay or whatever you want to call it. I empowered her. Trust the goddess within you. That's a phrase I use all the time. Trust the wise woman within you. What would you do? She knows, again, she's got that filter in her brain what's realistic and not, and she was clear enough to say, no, nah, I don't think the government thing is going to work. So given that she's had a bunch of government jobs, I guess maybe she's persona non grata there. Fine. She knew that. I didn't know that. She then moved me into saying non-profit. Great. I demonstrated co-coaching. Another question of any sort. Either about the process or even your individual situation, whatever.